your world this is coin to kid i'm just going to dive into one harmony one right now but again thank you once again for all your continued support across the channel here across coins kid in the in the telegram group there in the contributions the com comments the likes the shares your subscription is the most important thing okay to this channel really do appreciate that and uh, yeah thank you once again it's all it's all good it's all good so i hope you have a really good friday okay so we're just going to dive into one right now and at the moment it's looking relatively healthy okay looking like we've got this v-shaped recovery right here just I'm just going to put this like i've drawn this little trend line in here just in case you was to lose this level of support because you can see at the moment you've you've closed below it a, a couple of times there this is a four hourly time frame okay we started to pick up a bit here which is good but what we do need to see for a full-on reversal now and, and a march back towards the top okay this this full retracement there is a march through and a close above that we did get that close yesterday okay it was looking good but then obviously we got rejected there'll be a level of resistance in there and we will look at that in a moment to see exactly where because you're retracing okay basically you've made a high you've made a low hopefully this is the low it looks like the low uh, and then you're marching back on but as you do march back on you do hit levels of resistance now if if one starts to close above here regularly again okay, get above this resistance line here okay from this uh, v-shaped bottom here and starts to close above and starts to march on then that is looking really really good really golden for a full retracement up to that high which would be absolutely amazing okay and and, and that would be a really strong recovery as well i don't quite know why we went up like that okay but that's that's really good that we did go up like that but i just want to make you aware we all, i will always cover everything in this channel okay that if you was to lose this level now this 051987 and you was to start to come down it, it would look bad okay but what you would be looking for if it was to happen because it can happen these things do happen as you know the market can fold on itself but as long as you if you was to lose that level of support now and and come down okay and fall through it as long as you didn't make another low as low as that okay or even worse a lower low and all you did was come down and bounce off some kind of invisible trend line here i'm just putting this in for observation and make a higher low okay then that would be a fantastic signal in my opinion that, that you've got the recovery here and you are looking at that full retracement for, for harmony one because you're making a higher low you're making a w double bottom and it looks golden but again obviously you, you need to push up break that resistance line because support turns into resistance you know all about that break this as resistance get back through back test the support and marching on but at the moment you are looking really healthy okay it's looking good you've got this nice little candle that's going up at the minute the time it tells you on there you've got two hours 40 minutes left for this candle to close so as you know anything can happen you can start to roll down again because what you're forming here you, you're starting to the more this goes up okay and the more the price shoots up and it goes up more positively you're going to start looking at forming a bullish cross on the emas right here okay you see that this the, the yellow line and the red line so when the yellow line crosses the red line just like that you get your bullish cross okay and that's a massive massive really positive signal right there that you are looking for that full retracement and, and marching on to that previous high so at the moment it's looking good it's looking good but you've also always got to be aware that you know you're hugging this sort of line you're not really making any progress as such so what you do need to see as well and you probably will see this as you do approach this high right here which is that level just there okay you do need to see yourself taking that high because in effect what you're doing you're just making lower highs again which are contributing towards a downtrend and you may be looking we, we do cover everything on this channel always transparent you may be looking just at EMA retest there. So where the, this EMA looks good, looks good. I've just seen a very similar scenario on Reef, okay, when it was having a recovery. And it, it looked golden, like the, the, the price action was going to keep going up. And it was dragging the EMAs up for the bullish cross. But then it, it hit its head on something, level of resistance, f rolled over and, and fell back down and actually just formed an EMA retest, okay. And you know what that does, that, that just projects th things down. But providing we can come down, if we do come down, okay, make a high low you're golden for a full recovery because i will actually be setting along there because you're looking at a, a, a golden opportunity there of around 40 percent long okay on binance on on you know on the margin platform there be a fantastic trade to just retrace because that's what these things do they go down and they form a bottom and they start to retrace but they don't retrace overnight they they come up against levels of resistance and i think what you may be looking at okay is a very similar uh what happened to one in a previous uh 
consolidation event where it topped out just like we've mapped here okay so this particular consolidation event as you know went up it formed a double top and rolled over formed this low just like that went through got through looking really good but then started to roll over again and again made the higher low do you see that made the higher low got back through resistance and then it was off to the races but that particular level of consolidation there took around uh 20 days so it's a 20 day from the peak rolled over went all the way down and you sort of seen that the, the in the middle there right in the middle of the consolidation event it actually formed the bottom so you effectively could go right up there now okay and say well from that peak there harmony has took x amount of days just to get to the bottom okay so you've took roughly uh nine days so let's say another 18 another nine days you're talking 18 days then aren't you say sort of that sort of area there and it just give us a little bit of a guide it's not an exact science okay so what you do you press alt v on your keyboard there and it draws a vertical line so you can leave that in there if you want i'll take this out just to tidy it up so we've got a target so it's a vertical line and you it's in the second column down just there a little arrow and you've got something called vertical line you click that and you click it and then you can move it it just it just adds a little target for ourselves so we can leave that in there now and hopefully you know you've got this peak here you roll down you form the bottom just like we have in that previous correction and you're starting to march on so if we can get up to that sort of level you know this will be golden this will be brilliant you're looking at a full retracement there but what we're going to do now is drop in the fibonacci okay because what we are doing we are coming up against resistance as we form a low and then you start to come up against resistance so what you do with your fibonacci so with your fibonacci you go from the bottom because you've got your swing low okay that's a swing low a basically a corrective wave and uh, from that you go to your top which was up there okay so we'll just move that along so you can see so this is basically um, a big impulsive wave, obviously, as you taught you before. Big impulsive wave up, you formed a top, and you've had a corrective wave down, and you're now starting to form a new impulsive wave up, okay? And you can actually set a target there. You can see where it's hit resistance. That level that I've just put in there is a 0 0.618. That's the golden ratio, okay? So it actually hit its head on this. You see how good Fibonacci is, okay? It's really, really good. Please, please use it as much as you can because it just shows you. If, if you've not got the Fibonacci look, what? You're blind. You can't see anything. Where, where am I going? It's like driving in the dark, okay? So always drop your fibs in because they, they give you a really good guide as to where the levels of support and resistance are on full-on retracements. Okay, so at the minute you can see that our support level here is around about the 0 0.5. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drop that out now, actually. I'm going to leave that in. I'm going to leave the fibs in for now because it's acting as a really strong level. And I'll drop that base out as well. That's gone. So now what we've got, on the fibs you can see that we've got the bottom and we're starting to come up and we're forming a new impulsive wave but obviously we are hitting resistance and you can see we've hit our head on a 0 0.618 okay that's the golden ratio if you can get through that okay look at that how much that has actually retraced so yeah just, uh, getting back into it so sorry just received a phone call out to, to come off i uh, kind of lost my thread a bit but anyway i'll carry on so at the moment it's good it's golden because you've busted up you've actually hit your head on 0618 i've said to you if you can get through that okay you get through that it's golden and you look at that full retracement look how quickly this retracement could actually be it might even get there quicker than this because of the strength okay so what you what you've got now is you can see you, you're actually hitting your head a little bit on the 050 which is that 16 cents sort of mark around there okay so what we're doing now is really good we're pumping and we're getting through it and we, you need to see us close above that 050 because that is the resistance line just there you see that major level of resistance falling back on it tested the support lost it but then you've been hitting your head on it constantly right trying to get back through it now you're getting back through it you do need to see that close above it because if you don't this is what's going to happen okay you're going to get rejected and you'll start to come down and you may come down to the 0236 which is the lower the higher low so in my opinion not financial advice but do set some bids in down at this area okay because i think that if it was to come down that low and always set your bids in one percent higher okay that's another thing i need to teach you always set your bids roughly work out that calculation there what is one percent uh plus one percent plus that okay what is zero two three six plus one percent set your bids in at that because i think that when that comes down there's your higher low okay and you'll get the bounce and you just be golden okay not financial advice 
you always do whatever you want to do. I'm just showing you what potential plays are in the charts here. Because if, if one fails to close above this 050, okay, above 016275, then you will look at that further correction. You may get that little EMA retest on the bearish bias there of the, of the bear cross, a little rolling over the bearish bias, push it down towards this high low get the bounce march on and take out that resistance level again at 05 and then you will be looking at that full retracement right there but it is good it is health that you've come up and you've hit your head on the 0618 if you'd have got through that okay you would have been looking at a larger rollover because this is what it does it goes up and, and, and support becomes resistance okay and resistance becomes support and it's really you want to see that you want to see all that healthy back and forth and that 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 you know that, that it plays out like that so at the minute the MACD is starting to look relatively bullish again. You started to have another pickup. It's fighting, okay? It's fighting. You've got two hours left for this candle to close. I hope that we do get above this 0 05 because then you will be looking golden. You'd be sort of bouncing on the 0 05, getting some energy, okay, to march on and take out the 0 0618. And, you know, you might be looking at that bullish cross as well. It's, it's all good. It's all good. Harmony is not breaking down. Uh, the, at the end of the day, effectively, what I'm trying to get to, the point I'm trying to say is, if you lose this low, you're going to start making lower lows and you're looking at a bigger correction on the grand scheme of things. But what Harmony is doing right now is really good. It's gearing up. It's 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 refueling the rocket ships, OK, because it's going to absolutely smash through this high. And there's your price target up there, OK? And the reason to gear that price target in the next impulsive wave, there's multiple reasons. You can you can give it 1618, OK? You can, you can do that. I mean, I'll drop that in just to show you. But I'll tell you why I've not give that particular price target and I, I do keep it on the on the 141 there because I'll show you how I'll explain this to you so we've got the 1618 and you can see so if if um, for example um, Harmony 1 had come up okay and it hugged this yellow line and just got the bounce off it then when you on your retracement you do set your future price prediction to the 1618 in a really strong uptrend but because it's fallen back okay through the EMAs and it's had to work harder to get back above okay and you are forming this new impulsive wave you have to lower your expectations okay and that's why I've got the 141 in there so that effectively is a future price prediction for Harmony 1 that once it starts to get through all these levels of resistance and marches on takes out this high up there you will be looking at a 29 cent Harmony 1 token on the next big impulsive wave before it sort of hits a peak potentially rolls over and forms another swing low just like it has here okay because these are swing high swing lows look swing high swing low swing high swing low swing high swing low and it lost it it lost the previous support of the previous swing high and then it's had the further correction and that's basically it because what what things do okay when they go up in swing highs and swing lows they fall on previous swing highs as support for example that that went up there it's pulling up swing low and then it went back up to form a swing high look where it rested on the previous highs support okay this one up here you see it's getting a little bit extended it didn't fall on anything so there was no support there it got really extended so you can see that's a bit of a signal okay well the, this entire move is starting to run out of steam a bit and that's effectively what it did because it went up there and what it did it came back down and it rested below the previous high so that was a massive signal that you was looking at that sort of rollover and that consolidation because when it had another go at it okay it absolutely lost the previous high massive signal that you are looking at a push down they're all signals they're all there and this was painted before all of this okay so at this point here you could look at this level here and say well yeah that that's telling me that we are going to roll over because we're running out of support the previous high you see how it all works okay it's not rocket science it's there all in front of you you just look at the patterns you look at the charts and you can see it okay so hopefully i can that i've explained that well enough for you to understand there okay do practice bring up the charts go to the left move to the left look at the patterns okay look at them look at them and see see what happens in the charts and, and, and map your own sort of uh, patterns like double top and w bottom and stuff like that and head and shoulders you know breakdowns levels of support there falling on emas have a play look it went up there look swing high fell on the previous swing high swing low fell on the previous swing high they're healthy healthy steps so basically that's it it's charting 101 a little bit of uh, education there as well because that's what i'm trying to do on this channel okay is just bring a little bit of education obviously give you price predictions show you where levels of support are uh, moving forward so okay so that's our future price prediction then if we're going to get this full retracement which is looking golden by the way i am positive that we're looking good we are looking good but you do need to see yourself close above this 05 okay which is 0 0.16275 
you can see it's having a bit of a rejection there and pushing down so again just for clarification if if it does roll over okay you start to panic and start to worry as long as you make that higher low okay then you're looking golden for that full-on retracement back up to that high there and then eventually that that all-time high there for for harmony one it's all good it's all good it's just consolidation it's perfectly healthy perfectly normal don't panic do take care everyone and i'll be back again with another harmony one video to keep you updated once again thank you for all your really nice comments okay and sharing is caring i appreciate everything that you do i get so many really nice warm comments and i love it it's brilliant it's great it's what keeps me ticking on cheers take care all bye bye